Hello, my name is Trine Holt Clemmensen and I work at UCL University College in Denmark. I would like to present this poster with the title, I know his needs better than my own, care support needs when caring for a person with dementia. This study is a part of a PhD project in which the purpose is to develop dementia care assessment of support needs tool in short called DECAN. Caring for a person with dementia predispose informal carers to mental and physical disability. Also, carers tend to focus on the needs of the person with dementia, though they may have support needs of their own. Even though carers have a central role in supporting the person with dementia, carers are often overlooked in the rehabilitation process in Denmark. A systematic approach using an instrument would help facilitate identification of carers' needs for supportive services. No such instrument has yet been developed to assess carer support needs within a person-centered approach. Therefore, the aim of this study is to clarify the main categories of carer support needs in order to develop an instrument to systematically identify carer support needs. A qualitative approach combining focus group interviews and individual interviews with 18 carers and 13 professionals was used. Three focus groups with carers and two focus groups with professionals were conducted followed by five individual interviews with carers. If you look at table 1A and 1B, you can see the characteristics of participants, including both informal carers and professionals. Importantly, as you can see, is that a heterogenic group of carers regarding age, gender, and relationship to the person with dementia participated. Inductive, conduct, inductive content analysis was used to clarify carer support needs. The inductive content analysis resulted in four categories of carer support needs called carer support needs in daily life when caring for a person with dementia, carer support needs to focus on themselves, carer support needs to maintain own well-being, and care support needs to communicate and interact with surroundings. An example of care support needs to focus on themselves is an ex-wife saying, I think I know his needs better than my own. Also an example of care support needs to communicate and interact with surroundings is a sister saying, and that's what I think is missing, that they contact you and tell how it's going, but I always have to ask. An overall finding was that carers expressed support needs in common, regardless of the relation to the person with dementia and the progression of dementia in the person cared for. An important finding is also that carers have little or no expectations at all regarding support for themselves. Please see table two for an elaboration of the categories. In conclusion, we link the categories to WHO's International Classification of Functioning Disability and Health Framework. This showed that the identified categories offer a holistic framework that can be used when developing an instrument to assess care support needs. Such an instrument and systematic approach may facilitate dialogue between carers and professionals with the purpose of supporting carers in their caring role. In future dementia care, focusing on supporting both people with dementia and their carers may offer a new way of ensuring high quality care and preventing caregiver burnout. If you want to learn more, the results of this study has been published in the Scandinavian Journal of Caring Sciences. Thank you for listening.